and welcome to our channel. Today we are in Delhi, and I'm so happy because this this was one of the places I ever wanted to visit, but due to COVID, it was closed when I came here for internship. So this is the time I finally made it, and you guys could see how beautiful this place is. So this is the this is the parking lot, and this city is a. Uh, a car free city so you cannot take your car inside so we need to park our car in the parking lot and then we are going to walk so basically it consists of i think more than 100 small islands which are separated by canals and are connected to bridges so we could see there are so many bridges and we're just going to walk over them and explore the city and we also brought porky and chloe with us Hey okay. baba you happy Chloe is always happy when she comes to Italy mm. Good girl let's go This is a place where we need to pay for the parking and it was 15 euro from 5 pm to 5 am and we came during the evening but if you want to take the parking spot for the entire day it was 24 euros Finally we are in the beautiful place so a small tip is if you want to plan a trip to Venice you should just pack very very light because Though there are water taxis, but they might drop you to the entry point, and we saw a few people dragging their big trolleys over the bridges, which is not a very pleasant experience. Where are you? Uh, Venezia. Wow. You know the you know the Italian pronunciation? Yeah, Venice, uh, Venezia. Nice. So, for example, if you want to go that side, you have to take that bridge. I don't know. I think it's a train station. I mean, it has the perfect view. It's old. Look at those windows. I just love those kind of windows. You can go on the boat ride. Good boy. Thank you. Bye bye. Look at Pocky's butt. The closest airport to the Venice city is the Marco Polo Airport, and from there you can take bus, ferry, or taxis to reach to the Venice city. And within the city, you can take these water taxis to go to your hotel or to go from one place to another. Enjoying our drink, some cocktail. What did you order? It's called slush. Slush. Some wine-based slush. Yeah, something mixed with wine and uh, orange juice and something. It's this one. Paku Baba ko kuch bhi nahi mila hai. Chloe Baba, sit. Good girl, Chloe. Good boy, Pocky. Good boy. Stay. And look at look at this person. Another tip is if you want to save some money, then don't stay in Venice. So there are many small cities around this place. For example, one of them is uh, Dolo, which is like 20 minutes a drive from this place, and you can get train or bus if you don't have a car. Don't forget to look that side. Did you see hide your fans? Did you hide your fans? Don't forget to hide your fans. Okay. Three. Whenever you come to Venice, you guys should take this boat ride. And this one is a luxury one, and it's so good. It's like a hundred euro, right? Hundred yeah. euro for thirty-five minutes, and it will take you around to the canal. And it's so beautiful. And dogs are allowed. I mean, it's only the price is only for human, not for dogs. So it's it's a good experience. I prefer this one because. The boat itself is very beautiful, and it's sunset time, and it's amazing. Look at Pocky, Pocky, Baba. Pocky, Pock, good boy. Pocky, good boy, Pocky. 
Sorry? You guys stop at some time. It goes uh, to yes, with the gondola we close around midnight. Around midnight, okay. So, so the people prefer during the day or at night? No, like uh, I think uh, you, you came uh, probably in the best moment of the day. Okay, that's good. Because uh, you have a good temperature, good light. Uh, yes. Uh, no sun. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, like also, like one of the most important thing is that um, there's not much traffic ah, because yes. Uh, yes. in the morning mostly it's really 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 busy and noisy. Mm -hmm. Why? So it's good to come uh, when uh, it's more relaxing. The 1100 years old and it is one of the few Orthodox churches that we have in town, so not Catholic. All the other churches in the place are Catholic. This is Orthodox. So what? Sorry, I don't know the difference between uh, Orthodox and a Catholic. It's a kind of ritual. It is always uh, believing in God and Jesus, but uh, um, the Catholic uh, are have to give more traditions. <laughs> 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 the Catholic are more sporty. <laughs> uh, okay. So what does this red mean? Sorry. This, this red light. Ah, uh, this is because um, they are making scaffolds. Ah. Uh. So it's not. Yeah, it, 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 it shows that there is an alarm on. Okay. But there is no traffic light for you? No, no, no. no. Okay. That's not at all. Okay. Paku, are you enjoying Paki? Do you like it? Paki likes it. As long as there is no water on his body, he likes it. Right, Paki Baba? Good boy. Good boy. We are waiting for this boat to cross. Look at your face. So what happened during the COVID time? Because Sorry? during the COVID time... Uh, the there was uh, no tourists. Uh, yeah. There were no tourists. And for us, uh, 2020 was 95% lost. Yes. And uh, 2021, the 60% lost. Loss. Mm -hmm. Now, we're in this moment, we are running 100%, but we started uh, one month ago. Uh, Muzzle is only required for the dogs for the public transportations. For these kind of personal rides, for example, like gondola ride or water taxis, we don't need muzzle for them. And it was a wonderful experience for us because we could take Perky and Chloe with us and they really enjoyed the ride. And as I always say, this is the best part of Europe that they allow dogs everywhere. We had visited many places around the world but this city has a different kind of vibe and it provides a different kind of experience so it is one of the favorite places that we have ever visited. Thank you for watching our video, see you in our next vlog.